Welcome to a video on equipment used in phlebotomy. This video is brought to you by Wadhwani Foundation. An efficient phlebotomist will always be prepared with the right equipment required for drawing blood. Generally, in the blood drawing station, a comfortable chair with adjustable armrests is used for patient to recline or sit for blood collection. It is designed to provide a sturdy backrest support for the arm and keep the patient from falling out. In the phlebotomist tray, equipment is organized for drawing blood. Blood collection tubes are designed to fill with a predetermined volume of blood by vacuum. The rubber stoppers are color coded according to the additive that the tubes contain. Phlebotomist determines what tests are ordered and what tubes will be necessary before beginning to draw blood and also determine the order of draw for the tubes. Sterile disposable needles are used for drawing blood. They are designed for single use only. Types of needles are used by phlebotomist with different gauge size being appropriate for different veins, different patients and different uses. If higher the gauge, the smaller would be the diameter of the needle. Vacutainers allow multiple tubes to be collected in a single veni puncture. They have double pointed needle and have threaded part that screws into holder. Vacutainers are designed to draw an exact volume of blood into the tube. The vein is anchored and the needle is inserted and the vacutainer tube is depressed into the needle to begin drawing blood. Butterfly needle is effective for small and difficult veins, hands, elderly and pediatric. It allows more flexibility and precision than a needle and syringe. The tourniquet is applied for palpating the suitable vein for drawing blood. When the final tube is being drawn, the tourniquet is released to avoid complications. Before drawing blood, 70% isopropyl alcohol wipes are used for sterilizing the site of blood collection. A new pair of gloves must be used for each patient and removed when done. The non-sterile disposable latex, nitrile, neoprene, polyethylene and vinyl gloves are acceptable. Gloves with powder are not recommended. A bandaging material is needed to stop blood and cover the venipuncture area. Used needles are discarded in the sharp container. Black marking pen is used for marking on blood samples. After collecting the blood samples, they are stored in refrigerators before packaging them for transporting to laboratories.